Hey guys, so I've got my December Birch Box Man box here for 2015. Um, this one, it says uh, Home and Hearth. So again, this is around Christmas time that they sent this out, hence the uh, green pattern and uh, color. So it says keep one foot in the past and one in the present with this roster of updated classics. So um, let's just kind of go through what's in here. Uh, apparently I have $10 worth $35, uh, but uh, don't really uh, get anything from the Birchbox store anymore. Pretty expensive for what it is. Um, and then apparently now the boxes are digital so you can go online and read about all the items and how to use them and stuff like that. That's actually what I have pulled up here um, on the website just to make sure that I can tell you guys everything about everything that's in here. So I'm going to start off with the first thing in the box, which is English Laundry uh, Fragrance Arrogant. So um, this one for 3.4 ounces goes for $72. Uh, that is it right there. Again, I'm going to apologize. I'm looking over here because I don't have the actual uh, insert that comes with it anymore uh, to tell me how much everything is and all that stuff. So the uh, little vial itself actually is cool. It has its own little individual logo. It's focusing on my face and not there. So there you go. Um, let's see how this is. I have a few other colognes, so I'm going to hopefully not uh, mess it up. I'll be honest, I can't really smell, smell anything. Um, it could be great, it could be terrible. This company, English Laundry, I've got a few of their colognes and I do really like them. Um, so I don't, I don't know if it's just me or that I'm just overwhelmed with uh, two other scents that I just tried from two of my other previous boxes. But um, anyways, that's this right here. Um, let me just take a look at the reviews so I can tell you what people think. And there are four out of five stars. Um, but, uh, yep. All right, next is going to be Super Goop Forever Young Hand Cream. So that one, I've used one of their products before um, for my face that has some lotion and sunscreen built in. So there it is right there. And um, this one has 40 SPF um, and some photo aging. But, uh, yep, it says hand cream with SPF on it, but uh, anyways, don't really know why you'd be worried about your hands uh, getting burnt. But anyways, if you need hand cream that also has SPF, then Super Goop uh, apparently is the way to go. Uh, it is $38 for 10 ounces for the full size. Um, and then next I've got two pairs of Bombas socks. So first I'm going to go with Bombas Men's Solid Color Calf Socks, which are these ones right here. Uh, they go for $12 for a pair. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying these on, it would be too much effort, but they've got the little Bombas thing here uh, on the toe. Um, and then they've got a calf uh, right here where uh, it says be better on the inside, a little cool detail that they add. Um, but overall, they're pretty much just uh, regular calf socks for that. It also says apparently one pair purchased equals one uh, donated. So I don't know who they donate to, but um, apparently they donate socks to people if you buy a pair from them. The next ones are uh, a ankle sock. So solid color ankle socks. Um, I'm going to pull these out because they got some detail to them as well. But here they are right here. Again, the toe says Bombus on them. Got a pattern in the middle, which looks like to be at cinches here in the middle of the foot to hold on better. Um, and then it's got some padding around the back here. Normally, I do not like socks that have this kind of V cut, a little padding here, no padding here. Usually they just end up getting turned around or messed up or fall underneath my shoe or pulled all the way up out of the shoe. Um, they really don't fit with the shoes that I usually wear. So um, no idea how these are going to go, but hey, I've got some pairs to try. If they work well, uh, then I might go get more of them. And they go for $12 for a pair. So there's supposed to be other stuff in here apparently. Uh, I take that back. I found the one thing. Um, 
So this one is CW Beggs and Sons Energizing Moisture. It goes for $23 um, for 100 milliliters of it. There is the front of it right there. And uh, just says aftershave and face care. Doesn't really smell like much of anything at all. So the other thing I'm supposed to have in here is Tough Guy Water Wax. Uh, I didn't get that in my box either. I would know for sure if I had that in my box, but um, don't have it. That itself goes for $21 for 2.2 ounces, and reviews of it, 3.8 stars out of 5. Anyways, um, overall, Birch Box, these are whatever. I mean, again, I paid $20 for a box, so if the socks were worth $20 to me, then the box was worth it. Uh, typically, that lifestyle item is what makes or breaks it. The rest of the stuff in there is kind of whatever. Again, there's nothing I was super excited about using. Um, so... Uh, kind of why I stopped Birchbox. Again, if you want to see more Birchbox or specific stuff about Birchbox, please let me know. Um, that way I can not just think that you guys don't want to see any of them and uh, stop doing them altogether. Uh, or if you have other boxes that you would like me to check out. If it's grooming stuff, just hopefully that it actually gives a specific purpose because I've kind of figured out what I like for my grooming stuff. And most times I try samples, I end up just throwing them in a box and waiting for my good stuff to run out or go on a trip and then use it so that most of the stuff usually just sits there because most of it's just little trial sizes of lotion that isn't very good. So that's all that I have. Um, again, if you guys got any questions, just put that in the comments below. Thanks.